Obi! Obi! Obi Bo. Hi, Obo. Hi, Obo. Hi. What are you doing? Are you a movie star now? Are you famous? Are you a famous movie star? So this is Obi. You can follow him on Instagram at goodboyobi. Obi, do you want more followers? Okay, that's a yes. Uh, he doesn't know how big of a star he is today. He's quite pooped because he had to work very hard for that intro, if you couldn't tell already. He's quite full because we had to give him a boatload of cookies. Obi, you did a good job. Proud of you, big boy. I'm proud of you. So today's puzzle is this. Let's see if Obi recognizes it. The Hydrant by Steven Bomiger. What does that smell like? Does that smell like cookies? Very cool puzzle if you have a look at it. It's so cute, so well done, pretty sturdy, beautiful colors. And you know me, I'm a sucker for puzzles that are made to look like an object. The more random the object, the better it is for me. Like a hydrant is perfect. I think this thing just looks really beautiful. Sits nice on the shelf with the other wood puzzles. And I don't know what level this is. This was presented in 2018 at the IPP in San Diego by Steven Bomiger. So it's a pretty rare find. Don't know if you can purchase one online. You can go ahead and scour the internet. I had to to find it. Pretty lucky to come across one. And I can't wait to get into solving it. So without any further ado, like this video, subscribe if you're new here. I know half of you aren't. Let's get into solving the hydrant. Right, Obi? Are we gonna solve this puzzle? Can you say bye? Okay, let's go. The Hydrant. Cool looking puzzle. This one caught my eye instantly. Definitely one of those puzzles that's just super pretty and interesting. Like you see this and you're like, oh, a nice little toy. And you're like, no, it's a sequential discovery puzzle. Oh, wow. The goal here is to find the hose hidden within a hydrant. You, some may say not very practical when putting out a fire, but I think it's just for show. This little knob here moves a little bit. This knob moves quite a bit. Does it unscrew? It does not, it just kind of rotates. This one moves a little, base does not move. Top moves a little, oh, turns, but doesn't unscrew. Okay, that one just turns a bit. Huh? <laughs> that one comes out. Okay, are all of these different? Oh, hello. So I'm guessing those are magnets. Yes, those are magnets here. Those little beads which connect down there. But this doesn't unscrew. There is a bolt here. It does not unscrew. I don't want to force it. It does seem a little fragile. Oh. oh. My goodness. Okay, we have a tool. Or a weapon. <laughs> Something's happening on the base here. Okay. What is the point of this, then? Oh, this bolt actually locks that in place. So there is a, there's a pin on the inside here. Let's see if you can see that. Probably can't see it, but there's a pin which locks into this hole right here. So if I put that in and then push down on this, it is now locked. Pulling this up releases this. Why we have this, I don't know. So maybe there's another bolt that will allow me to unscrew this one. Oh, 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 do you notice this? Watch what happens when I turn this, watch the top here. It moves ever so slightly. See that? See that little movement? Okay. That's for that side. I like this puzzle already. Why does that come up? What do you think? Oh, here too. This also moves the top. This moves this, this moves this. I feel like they're like joysticks here. Look at that. Weird. Very strange. Hmm. Why this though? Huh? There's gotta be some type of sequence here that I'm not thinking of yet. That one stops rotating right there. Oh, so strange. Huh, still wondering what this does. Doesn't seem to want to fit anywhere. Why would they give me a tool? Maybe this isn't a tool, maybe it's just meant to unlock the next chamber, maybe? 
This one spins any direction. This one spins a little bit and then stops. This one spins any direction. This one lifts up to release that. This one spins any direction and this one does not spin. Sort of stuck in either direction, maybe. Yeah, it's like a little switch in there. I feel like there's a mechanism attached to that one, like a little bar going like this. Oh, weird. If I pull it out, push it back in, twist it. Oh, the magnets are repelling now, that's why. I mean, I'm gonna maybe I have to put this one back in while those magnets are being repelled. No. This and this are just really attached here, look. Oh, so this is coming out a bit. I also feel like I just may be forcing it too much. Oh, 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 oh. It's now turned. Not sure what I did, but that came out a little bit. I'm playing around with this top part. It's okay, so. If this is not out all the way, this can turn. Oh! Oh wow, look at that. So there's like an internal, let's focus here, focus, focus, focus. So there was like an internal maze here, which I had to go, oh, so there was like a trap. So if I pulled it out here, there was a trap, I had to go back and open it. Oh, look at the inside. So that's what was, Preventing that from coming out. You had to move that around. That's really cool. Okay. Still no hose. No way, Jose. <laughs> okay. I'll stick to solving puzzles. So now this one. This is the same principle? No, this one doesn't look like it's connected. This, this seems protruded a little bit now. Okay, maybe now one of the other bolts got two of these things out. This is the next one to come out. My guess is that this one is what's holding this top part and this top part's gonna pop off as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm done with this. This turns a little bit. Oh, oh, there we go. It's turning, it's turning. Why did it turn now? Okay, this top part now turns. Uh, if I maneuver this, like see, there seems to be another maze there. So this is the original position. And then as soon as I push this down and move this, this can move through, stops there. Maybe now the bolts. This one seems to be attached to that. It won't turn, however. If I push it down, it turns slightly. It's really hard to work it with my fingers here. See, when I move that back and forth, that bolt now moves slightly. Oh, you can see inside here. There's some stuff going on. Okay. I gotta start lining up stuff. These bolts have to do something. Seems like it's protruded now.
Oh, that one was holding that one. So that one's loose, that one's loose. This one, however, does nothing for me. Okay, that seems to be out more than normal. I can't really see what's going on in there. So, oh! Aha! <laughs> we have the hose. <laughs> the hose. Oh, the hose is spring. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. Boom, finally, we can put out the fire. See? Very cool. Man, okay, so what was... It's so cool because this is all like 3D printed and although it looks simple from here, doing it blindly, I mean not, not totally, oh there we go, I knew that. So here, you see this little blade? That was that screw. See I knew that from the beginning, turning it, that it was some plate holding it back and that was the last piece holding it back and on the inside you can see this thing which runs through this maze here, uh, that then allows it to rotate. Uh, when you get to these parts of the circles. So let's see if we can put this thing back together again. I gotta find the groove here. Where's the bottom part? Oh, it's here, okay. So I gotta get the bottom part in that groove. There we go, twists in. That should, that's spring loaded, so that should lock that in. Uh, this one now. Oh yeah, I have to maneuver, I have to maneuver this. This is a really cool puzzle. I, wow. And then we're back to here, see? We go from twisting here to here, lifting this thing up, which has to, I guess then slide into that slot. No, oh, here. It has to go in vertically through there. That should be, should be good. Here we go. Twisting. Bring it back in. Oh, wait, what? That. Okay, once it goes in there, do I have to lock it in there? I have to lock it in there. And that should fit in pretty seamlessly. I have to twist. This thing, yes. Now that's in. Now this one, lift the bolt. Wow, that is a fun puzzle. Amazing how you can build something like this and have it still be in sequence. Uh, that it's not like I can do this and then do this. No, you have to follow the order. Um, definitely a sequential puzzle, not a sequential discovery, my bad but very cool indeed. And the fact that with every piece you remove, you get an extra glimpse at what's going on, on the inside, which allows you to delve further into solving this puzzle. The Hydrant, Stephen Bomiger. I rate this puzzle, literally I rate this a 10 on 10. This is one of my favorite types of puzzles right here. Lots of fun, sturdy built, doesn't feel too flimsy, beautiful. Awesome solution, half an hour. Uh, Super cool. Hot diggity dang. Hydrant conquered. This was one of the coolest puzzles I've done in a long time. I say that about a lot of puzzles, but I'm a puzzle enthusiast, okay? I'm a puzzler. Please don't ever call me that. I thought that this would be a lot easier and I thought the solution wouldn't be as enjoyable. Uh, turns out it was very enjoyable and for me, just the right amount of complexity and satisfaction when solving a puzzle, something happens, something comes apart. There's, there's no moment of nothing's happening. There was a little bit, but we got through it and then another thing and another thing and there's so many little, th even though this is very simple, there's a lot of little things that are to be discovered here. So amazing puzzle. You're gonna go right here, my little guy. Right there, look at that. Up on the shelf with the woodsies. You got the metalsies and the shinies. If you do enjoy this video, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Special thanks to Obi for, uh, for Cameo.
and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Rah.